So today we're going to be looking at the MCD edit by Cutflame. Now this has been out a while. He keeps on updating it. It is currently up to date with the current version of Minecraft Dungeons and all seems to work good. It's a different alternative to using Chi Engine that you may like or you may not like. So let's get it, have a look and see what it does. So the MCD edit can be obtained from GitHub off of Cutflame's resources. Um, it is down here if you go to Cutflame. I'll put the link in the description. You can see it all here. If you go scroll down, you can see you can download and extract the latest release from the release section. So we go to the release section. It's here. This is the latest release 1.3.9.1 that supports uh, Minecraft Dungeons 10.3.0. So it's all up to date until the new Steam update comes out soon. So we're going to click on that. It says and it won't download. Yeah, click on the zip, that's better. Alright, so click on the zip, it goes and downloads it. Now, you must bear in mind that you need, if you're running the store version, you need to extract the uh, pack files, um, like how you get it ready for modding, that sort of thing. Um, you need to extract them so the actual exe can read the .pak files, otherwise it's all protected and you can't do it. So that's one thing you might need to do. Um, the other thing that you might need to do is have .NET installed and things like that, but it should all work fine um, if you've already modded dungeons and things. So anyway, it's downloaded, so let's go and fetch it. I'm just going to put that on my desktop here. So we have a zip file here of the MCD save in it. I'm just going to um, open this up. You can see it's here. MCD save edit. I've had no uh, warnings from anything to say that this is a virus or security risk, but um, you may do. If you do, you're going to have to use it at your own risk, I'm afraid. I can't tell you whether it is, isn't, or or should be. Um, I've used it. It seems safe. It seems fine, just like Cheat Engine, but people kicked up about Cheat Engine. So, yeah, use it at your own risk and take precautions if needs needs be. So, anyway, let's run this as administrator. So, I'm going to right-click on it. And I'm going to run as admin. Um, click yes, and then it loads and does this swirly thing. Now, before I had the wrong version, it come up, kept coming up with errors. So please make sure you've got the latest, up-to-date version, and it should all be fine. So here we go. This is MCD Edit. It is quite basic, and you should recognize everything really because it's set out in a way that is just like minecraft dungeons so what we need to do is we need to go file and open and it should load your save so you've got save game mojang studios and dungeons now it's here we've got three characters um so we have to figure out which one we want um, we've also got the character trash can as well, which is quite clever, and we've got a save dot that. So I want to go in here, and I'm going to go on the last one that was modified, because I created a new one. So here we go. This one here, the 14th of the 9th. So that was the last one I played, because I sorted it by date. So I'm going to open this. Hopefully he's just got a sword and a shield, a sword and a bow. There we go. So we can see here that I have nothing other than this. I'm level one. So what I've done is I've gone onto dungeons and I've just made one new character. Um, <clears throat> and then skipped through everything and come on to here. So the way this works is pretty much self-explanatory. We can add emeralds up here so we can add 5,000 emeralds. We can add gold. So let's add 5,000 gold. And then we can start to add stuff in the inventory by clicking on these up here. So if I wanted to add a sword, I could click add sword and then I can click this here and then you get an extra pop up and then you can choose which ones you want. So it's got all of them that you can see. Uh, so we have the beginning and the end. Um, it's new. We'll make it gilded, shall we? We'll then um, put, I don't know, I'm just doing it to show you. We'll put a uh, Nima Conjurer at level 3. Um, don't want that. We'll put it as unique and we choose the, um, yeah, we choose these. I'm just going to do these quickly so you can see. So basically it's all, it's all done by um, click. It is it is really quite easy to use. It's not too bad. So there's tier three on that one. I don't know where the other one's gone though. That's all a bit. 
Ah, it's because I selected da 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 and then da da da. So you can select three like this, and then um, I don't know if you can see that. You can select three, and then you can choose the one you want. So, and then you can change it. You can change it. Let me bring that in. Uh, it's got all the enchantments and stuff like that, so it's all pretty good. The only thing that you can't do is put the tier higher than three. It's just how it is. With Cheat Engine, you could you could put it higher than three. But anyway, it doesn't really matter, does it? All right, um, and then rush. I really don't know. I'm just choosing things that doesn't really make much sense. Let's put um, this one up. Three. So there you go, and here, and you can see that I've used 33 enchantments, so I'm minus 33, um, and that is my sword done. Now you can't equip anything in here, I don't believe. Um, you'd have to do that in the game. So let's go add some armor. So I've clicked on my armor here. You could have also done it in here, but I've clicked on my armor, and now I'm going to go and just quickly add some armor. So we want a decent armor. I believe you can add any armor that you want. So I saw it then which was the Hungry Horror, which is a seasonal item. So we're going to go and do that. So we make it gilded, and then we put it three. And what should we have? I really don't know. Let's put Potion Barrier. That will do. And we make it, what level should we make it? 51 unique. New da 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 Right, so then we've got the enchantments again. The only thing I'd say, you have to keep doing it. It's not too bad, it's quite easy to use. Um, we put gravity. I'm not going to bother with the other ones. Um, and. It'd be nice if it sorted out them. For. Um, just in. You know, the. Um, told you if it was armour or whatnot. Never mind. Um, right, so there's those ones. And this one here is going to be, I don't know, I'm just lightning and thundering. That'd do. Put that to three. Close. And then we've got what everyone always asks about is the enchantments within the armor. So here we've got this little plus if we click on it. And then click again, we get another pop-up, so I've got to drag it over. And we can add the armor property. Now people are always asking me, how do I add more armor properties? How do we add more armor properties? Well, on this one, it's super easy. You click the plus, click on the armor property, and then add the one that you want. Obviously, it doesn't really tell you much about it. But if you know what you're after, then you can add as many as you want. See? Adds it into a little scroll box here, and we can just keep adding now don't forget some dumb do some do stack some don't stack so just bear that in mind um i seem to be yeah, i am changing they're just going up to the top i think yeah so you can change them it comes up here i don't know what half of these do harmony move speed aura uh pet bat so i know pet bat you can um duplicate and have loads of bats. Pet bat. Pet bat. Damage range boost. So you can keep them going. I don't know how many you can add. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh. I've probably crashed the game now. Uh, where's pet back on? Oh, missed it. Never mind. That'll do. Yeah, you can add quite a lot, and then we're done. So, it seems to save it. I've clicked on the bow, clicked on there, and it's back. So, that is how you do that. You can add enchantments, I'm uh, sorry, um, artifacts down here. Click on the plus, or you can go up here and add the artifacts to your inventory. Um, entirely up to you. Um, you click on here, and then we can add whichever ones we want, change the level, um, 51, you can't make them gilded because you can't have gilded um, in charm artifacts, or equivalent, there you go, it's a new one, 51, so we've added artifacts, here's our level, our player level, so we can do that, we can make him 500, 
adds the enchantment points up here, which is quite cool. Uh, bows are exactly the same as the swords that we did earlier, so I'm not really going to touch on that. Um, uh, da -da -da. And then gilded thingy, I think we've done everything. Power, we can't change the power because that is subject to your um, items. The only other thing is this stats and progress thing, but because I haven't played, there is no progress counter mobs or stats, um, which you can change. Um, let's see about. So then what you need to do is you need to go file and save and load up dungeons. So where I've only just done the save and not done Squid Coast, it's chucked me straight into Squid, Co Squid Coast and I've um, just going around just doing it. But um, you can see that it's here. Uh, I have everything. I can walk through things. I'm getting things. My um, artifacts are here. If I go on to my inventory, I've got my um, the beginning and the, the end at level one. I also have my Hungry Horror with all its stats down here. I mean, there's quite a few there. Uh, at level 51. I also have my artifacts and I am level 500. Uh, my emeralds are 5004 because I've killed some things and it's come back through. And then I've got gold at 5000. Now I tried to skip this and I did get a crash so I'm just going to run through it and make sure that it all works alright. I mean it all seems to work alright. So crashing is still a part of it. You're still going to get it. It's just one of those things I think where you're ultimately um, affecting the game files and doing things you probably shouldn't be doing so <coughs> yeah just bear that in mind and um, persevere um, it's not as bad as cheat engine but the only thing that I've noticed is that you can't do things on the fly with cheat engine you would come on you would have to have the game loaded up um, and then you would change things and you can see it happening in front of your eyes on the game with um, MCD edit you can't do that you have to literally close the game down um, redo everything and then load it back up again it's a bit more of a slow process but it might be more of a safer process than using cheat engine I don't know it's something I've not really used I've always used the cheat engine side of things but I know a lot of people were kicking up about it's a virus it's this it's that um, so this is an alternative maybe for you maybe for other people that do like cheat engine and want something different so yeah just go out have a look see how you find it I mean it's pretty self-explanatory and it's pretty easy to use um, there's nothing much to it just changing a few things adding a few things and moving on so anyway let me make sure that this goes to the camp all right and then we can call it a day uh, let me go to this lever here I mean I think everyone's done this level about a million times haven't they and uh, some of you have probably only done it once come on die so artifacts in inventory it's saying that I've already got an artifact in the inventory so Right up here, I'm sure we're nearly at the camp now. It's not far to go because there's the wall that gets uh, closed off. There's the cave entrance. And up here will be the map that you first got well, the map table. And then it is done. So let's see if we get a crash because last time I tried to skip it and I crashed out, then I had to restart the game. Uh, I don't know if it's an error at my end or an error that happened with the actual um, game itself. So. Right, there we go. We're in. We've done that level. Oh, we got the chest. We got the chest. I don't know what level chest I get. A 17. So anyway, yeah, here's my bats. You can see all my bats are flying around, which is quite good. You can see it's all worked. Um, it's all, it's all fine. It all works. It's all good. But the only problem is, like I said, you can't, you can't go and change stuff on the fly here, as far as I'm aware. So I've got my sword, and I want to put that to level 100. So he's level 100. I go save, and it's it's still level one because you can't do it it doesn't work like that i've even logged out and logged back in so if i went um, I've, yeah i've done it i've logged out i've loaded a different character and then i've loaded back in as this one and it still didn't work you need to physically close the game down as far as i know make your changes so let's get the hungry horror and duplicate it i don't know if that works there you go so i've got two hungry horrors now let's let's just do loads Okay, loads of hungry horrors. 
I don't know how many I've got now. Oh, it says down there, 30, 40, 41, 40, oh, it's still going because it's uh, a bit slow. 48, let's do 50, 1, 2. Right, so then we go save, and then we load up dungeons again. So for some unknown reason, it chucked me back in Discord code saying that I haven't done it. The only way I could think that was is because I had the MCD edit open already and I just resaved over it saying that I hadn't done Squid Coast. A bit annoying, but anyway, doesn't matter. So I've got my inventory now. You can see that here we go. Here is all my, um, yeah, just one or two. One or two. So you can give them to your friends and stuff like that. It's probably not advisable because they are hacks items or whatever you want to call it it's not the best approach some people do uh, frown on it and doing things the only thing I can think well, there's two things that I can think where this is um, amicable reasons for use is if you lose your save and you were at level f 365 and you had this and you had that you could maybe use the MCD edit to bring yourself back up to where you were have rather than having to um, go through it all again the other the other thing is a lot of people that are in the speedrunning community use um, cheat engine and things like this to aid them in gaining things to help them run better um, I don't think they muck around with much of the stats on the armors if I'm honest I don't know um, but yeah a lot of people don't like it a lot of people frown on it so just use at your own risk and be courteous to other people that may not want to play with you if you're playing online if you've done something like this um it does happen and people do moan about it so just bear that in mind um it's not for everyone just because it may be for you so anyway i think that is pretty much it now we've gone through the mcd edit we can see that we've done many things including give ourselves 50 hungry horrors which is um yeah a bit crazy and giving us about four bats five bats i think it is so i can just breeze through everywhere which is uh, quite nice in a way but i've already done this today and i didn't really think i'd be doing it twice so anyway if you've got any questions or queries let me know in the comments otherwise i think that is it for today um don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos on minecraft dungeons and if this video has helped you or you found it interesting give it a thumbs up because that always does help the channel just that little bit and and I appreciate it so much. So anyway, until next time, thanks for watching. Enjoy, have fun, stay safe.